yo what is up guys welcome to another video of tvg those video guys uh i don't know you might be thinking like um where are all the other members you know but it's cool they couldn't join me today uh unfortunately but i still believe that we're gonna have a quite a nice episode so what we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be uh, listening to metro booming beats okay so there's a video which i'll link in the description basically it lists the top 10 best beats by metro booming and if you don't know who metro booming is you probably know who metro booming is he produced um probably your favorite or one or two of your favorite hip-hop slash trap songs in the last five years so what we're going to be doing is we're, there's a uh, the video we're going to be watching it and then also at the end of each song we're going to decide you know if the artist actually did justice to the song so without further ado we're going to dive right into it let's get it okay okay so now we're gonna go into uh the first beat we're gonna go to the first beat okay let's let's hear what what, the, what this beat is oh okay well oh. obviously rick fair drip um i quite like this song um but this beat actually now that i'm listening to it this beat i'm listening to it it's it's quite fire though so more nigga hmm. hey to be honest i feel like this beat actually belongs more on a, like a tiger you know you know tiger i think you'd actually do better on this track you know because yeah it's more like of a tiger beat because i think Obviously, I had to compensate by rapping fast and all of these things, but you know, I think I think it's a fire beat. I actually didn't know the instrumental was that fire, so big up to that. Did he do justice? Did Offset do justice? I personally feel that it sh the beat is so fire that he didn't do it justice. You now, if you think of something like you know, Bad and Bougie, for example, that had a very simple beat, you know, that a very simple beat, but then Migos and Lil Uzi took that song to new height. No, he didn't do justice. Okay. Okay, it's 21. Okay, 21. 21. This is 21 Savage. It's my first time hearing this beat. I like this this Homer Simpson thing going on here. That's pretty cool. It looks like it took like it popped a few, you know. Popped a few dodgy ones. Fire. What's this? Ocean Drive? I've never heard the song before. This is absolute fire. Man. You know, you know what they say, you know, um, you the way you can tell a good song, you know, when your jam comes on, is you pull up a disgusting look on your face, you know, and you just like look like you're disgusting. That's how you know the, the song is fire. And this song, it even look at Homer Simpson, even he looks like this song is filthy. This beat, sorry. But um, I quite like it. Ocean Drive. I'm gonna go check that out. 21 Savage, I could hear it, it's, and I think 21 Savage could have done the song justice. But since I don't know, uh, I can't give a rating of this, of if he did it justice or not, but this is a fuego beat. Like, honestly, it's a, for me, 10 out of 10. Okay, so now we're going to number 7. Uh, so this can clearly skip number 8, but okay, cool, we're going to number 7. Let's go, let's get it. Hey, hey, oi, hey. I dig this. I think it was a, a Lil Uzi kill this jam. This is one of my favorite sort of beats that Lil Uzi has ever rapped to. Um, I can't understand exactly what the hell Lil Uzi was saying, but you know, you know that's Lil Uzi lyrics for you. But you, yeah, you was right. I dig the song. Lil Uzi smashed it. He killed it. I love the music video of it as well. So I think Lil Uzi did it justice, and this beat is fire. I love the little harmonics onto it. it it's it's pretty dope. Love it. Woo! I dig this. I dig this. What's those people that's driving? Like, what's up? What's up? Can you just address this driving thing? What's up with these people driving? Is that, is that like a way to determine if your beat is fire? If it's... Okay, let's skip to the next one. Okay, so this is number six. Uh, This looks like what? One piece or something? Probably, yeah. And I don't know also why the producers or pe people that do beats always 
put some animation some anime to it i don't know it's like a thing it's pretty cool but anyway darth vader okay i don't i haven't heard this song before let's hear it let's hear it let's wait for the beat to drop no it's not one piece it's got like a whole space type of you know extraterrestrial vibe to it i really like it uh 21 savage oh so okay cool um i don't know but i hope he did justice to it so now we got number six again that's it mid gala it's a fire beat i think maybe gucci man would be, be would do well in the song I haven't heard it before. Um, again, it's another old white guy driving a van. I think that's uh, a way to... I think I need to get myself a van. I need think I need to get myself a van and just drive a car listening to Metro Booming Beats. Um, but anyway, I don't think that was... I don't think it was that bad. Um, and again, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard the song before, so I can't judge whether it was done justice or not. So let's, go, let's keep on moving. Another song, I don't know. Call me. I know the nav version of Call Me. That's just... Okay, so this is a bad instrumental version. So so yeah, probably due to copyright infringement, this was probably um the best instrumental they could have gotten. But it's really Call Me by Nav is a beautiful beat. It's one of my favorite beats just in 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 in, in, in general. It's Nav um, and Metal Booming. Call me, which I'll probably play or li give a link somewhere. Couldn't buy one now, I got four, yeah. Used to pray fast, don't kick down the door, yeah. Right yeah the beat is fire. It's, it's actually the song that made me go in, get into Nav. So it's a beautiful beat, a uh, very trippy. Uh, and Nav does the song complete justice, and he has sick bars like. I lose every girl, I love her, and I'm on tour. My mama calling me, and I ignore. Running from my problems to my freaking soul. What are we going? What's what's next? So now I'm here. I don't I don't know. I haven't heard the song before, so I can't give it a rating. Although the instrumental sounds whack, but okay, let's keep on moving. Okay, this guy looks very scary and very creepy. Uh, okay. Mm, mm, mm. Turn on. Turn on. Number three. Okay, so this is the first time I'm hearing this song and it sounds absolute fire. I'm definitely gonna go check this out. Number three, um, yeah. obviously, this <laughs> Metro Booming wants some more, nigga. Young Savage White Trap, so, huh? hey, <laughs> why you got it, 12 go garage? Hey, I grew up in the streets without no heart. Shame for, you know, 21 Savage. I wonder how he's doing with all the, the you know, deportation thing, but, um, 21 Savage definitely murdered, he butchered, he destroyed, he raped this beat, you know, with his, yo, oh, this song wouldn't be anything without um, 21 Savage, and he did the song justice, it's, this is one song where Metro Booming, actually the um, 21 Savage did more justice than the actual beat itself, but it's a, it's a super, super uh, nice beat, um, and it's, it's so cool because a lot of the times, you um rappers come and they have a, ma a beautiful beat like an insane sick nasty beat and then they actually don't do it justice um a, a typical example would be uh reach the kid yeah reach the kid came with plug walk you know and plug walk if you listen to the instrumental it's a beautiful instrumental right beautiful but then he actually starts spitting on it and then you just like I wish I had just listened to the instrumental by itself. It's he kills it. And not in a good way. He's in a Louis V. Louis v. But twelve, I'm a G, ain't no stopping me. 
Am I racist on overseas? And, and what is up with this thing? Can we just talk about these, these, these random guys? Doing random things like driving and smoking cigarettes and getting shot at in these in these instrumental videos like it's it i don't know this is quite weird it's, it's very weird and now we're at number one baby let's check it out This song is so fire, it's got its own hype man in the background going woo, like that's when you know your beat is fire. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I've never heard this song before. It's number one, um, Six Love, I haven't heard this song before, but hey, at least they got a, at least they got Park on the beat, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, so me personally, um, yeah, I don't, you know, I think I would have added in uh, Future Mask Off uh, as, as one of the beats because I think it's a very famous beat and he actually did it um, quite nicely and sampled, you know, it's got this kind of waste element to it, so I would have put that there. But I mean, like Metro Booming, honestly, um, he's, what you call it, has a good repertoire. My personal favorite beat he's ever made which is low life um which is when the weekend was featured on future with the metro booming beat um low life that was for me still my favorite beat ever by metro booming i just it's there's no for me there's no other debate So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys, um, what do you guys think? What, is, what are some of your favorite instrumentals, some of your best beats ever produced? Shout out if you think we should do something similar like this to again, um, uh, where we just play some, you know, reaction video or anything like that. And we'll get on that shot for watching the video. Thank you for that. Hit us with a like, hit us with a subscribe and we'll see you on the next side. Look.